Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode, the last one, where we will explore a second way to get root on the Bulldog CTF challenge. It's been a fun journey, so stay with me as we put the last nail in this CTF's coffin challenge. Let's get started. We've come a long way and I encourage you to learn more about the hacking techniques we've used in this challenge. You'll find the other episodes in the penetration testing playlist and um, find them directly in the description box. So let's see if we can find a second way to gain root. So we are uh, running as user Django on this server. And what do we have here? If we go to underscore home, I think there was a question we've scratched but didn't explore it. That was under the hidden directory under Bulldog admins home folder. And here we had a note saying that this uh, permission stuff script is going to get us root. Um, so we copied the script in the custom uh, under the temp directory. And when we run it, we need actually um, the password of Django. So this is a binary. Um, I'm going to use ltrace to trace the library calls when we run that script. So as you can see, it's using uh, puts from libc and uh, it's printing those messages that we see in the screen and it's asking uh, for the password of Django because it's running the system uh, command sudo su root. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so if we type anything, sorry, try again. So here we don't get any input. Uh, let's continue, put in junk passwords. And as you can see, it's triggering a sig child exited um, syscall and yeah, it exits. Nothing really interesting here. What about S trace? Um, I mean, let's use that as well to see if we can spot anything interesting. So here we have call to write, which prints our message. And so if we type um, invalid credentials, it's exiting just like we have saw in L trace. Okay, nothing really interesting here. Um, Let's see if we can uh, list the strings of that binary. So we have the usual stuff, um, main. So this is a, probably a C file. We have the system function. Uh, yeah, those are the usual stuff. And we have the messages that gets printed in the screen on the screen. Oh, we have something here. Super ultimate password you can, can't get. Oh, seems like a password to me. Uh, let's, uh, let's actually grab that, put it in a file, call it a string, paste that in. Let's construct uh, the password here. That might be the root password. Super ultimate password you can't get. Yeah, the rest might be just some garbage. So let's copy that and maybe use it as our password. So sudo, um, we want to switch to the root user. I'm um, sorry, su dash uh, su root or just su and let's paste in our password and nope it doesn't work i think the capital h here is just uh, the end of the line so let's remove that and this gives us super ultimate pass so let's remove that as well you can't get mm, okay that makes sense now let's use that um su root or just su and paste in our password. Nope, doesn't work. Super ultimate password you can't get. Let's see if we can authenticate as uh, root. 
you can find the configuration under SSH, uh, SSHD config. And let's look for root. Permit root login, yes. So this means that we can brute force the password of root. And to do that, I'm going to use the same technique we've done to crack the hash of Nick. And I'm going to echo that password to maybe root word list. And I'm going to apply John's rules to do the same thing. So John, please generate me all the combinations based on your rules and put them into root word list dot txt. So let's see. So these are the different password candidates. Let's use Hydra to brute force that password. Uh, we want Hydra with the user root and the password list root dash word list. And we want to target SSH um, on ctf07 dot root me dot org. Uh, but I need to specify the port number. I guess it's dash s23. I'm not sure. Let's see. If it triggers an error, then yeah, it's working because here it says 23. So if everything goes well, and our password exists in, in our word list, we might get the root password. Okay, so target one did not resolve. What about, let's try it with user Django. And let's use the capital F to stop as soon as we hit a match. Oh, okay. So we get a match here with this password, but it was actually the password of Django. All right, so let's try now to authenticate as Django, right? But now if we do like sudo dash L, it's going to ask us for the password of Django, which we have. And we have the possibility to run everything as Django. So sudo su, and we are now root. Perfect. Now, if I go back to the slash temp and try to run the custom uh, permission app with the user Django and hit enter, I get instantly root as well. So it seems that, yeah, indeed, this is the second way to get root. Uh, let me know if uh, you found anything else, like another way to get root. If you did, then share it, share it with us in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this challenge as much of, as I've enjoyed playing it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and uh, I'll see you in another challenge. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.